Hello, hello. It's me, Roxy, from the Face Yoga Method, and I'm one of the head coaches here at the Face Yoga Method. And I just wanted to pop in again because I tried to pop in last week and I had really bad connection. And some of you missed um, the amazing tips that I wanted to give you if you're a busy face yogi like many of us. I think, I think we're all busy and sometimes we don't have time to sit there and just watch our face yoga routine sometimes so if you're a busy face yogi if you're running around like a headless chicken every day if you're working all day long hours and then have to go home and cook dinner and do this pick up the kids whatever it is i have a special tip for you because i'm in the same boat i'm a busy mom i have two kids i have a dog and I work full time and of course I have to go home, cook dinner, do this, do that. I know all of the things. Hello, hello, hi Teresa, hi Lourdes, hi Christy. So I just want to give uh, people a little bit more time to join us um, before I get going. But I just want to ask a question. Do you have time to do your face yoga exercises? Let me know. Hi, Trini. Hi, Fasina. Let me know because I think this is a great opportunity um, for you guys to maybe learn something, I don't know, from my own experience. And um, yeah, so let's see who else is in here. Re Reencarnacion. Hi. Hi, Maria. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing your face, face exercises? I hope you are. I want, yes, you want to and you will make time. You know, sometimes it's so hard to make time though because I know for me, when I used to get home from work and have to sit down and watch the routine sometimes, it, it was like I literally had to make time and be like, okay, I'm gonna make time now. But I have a special tip and I hope it helps you guys. I mean, you still have to put in a little bit of work, of course. Um, but it's all about you, you know, like this is for you and, and I feel like if you put in a little bit of work, it just, it helps you in the end. So here's my tip. Learn at least five face yoga exercises like really well, really well. So practice them in front of your mirror, put your moisturizer on and practice them really well. And here's my other tip. When you learn these exercises, choose exercises where you don't necessarily need your hands or to be looking in front of the mirror all the time because you've learned them, right? You've learned them, so therefore you don't need to look in front of the mirror all the time. Of course, you can still check um, from time to time. And this is what I did because I found that for me, sometimes I would just be sitting in front of my computer all day and I'm like, dang. I could be doing my, my yoga exercise, my face yoga exercises right now. So good tip to, to do your exercises like when you're sitting in front of your computer at work. I was at the park last week and I tried to do the live last time. And you know what? I was walking around the park doing my exercises and it was great. And I didn't have to sit there and look at the mirror or use my hands the whole time. So. Those are my two tips. Learn five exercises that you can do really well and try to learn ones where you don't necessarily need your hands. Aw, thanks to Maris. Hi Maria, hi Christy. So those are my two tips. Now, I wanna show you guys my two of my go-to face yoga exercises that I do all the time and they don't require me to use my hands so i do them while i'm walking i do them while i'm sitting in front of the computer while i'm watching tv and the first one is um the big o and many of you have heard of this pose before and this is a great pose because it really helps to circulate the skin 
um, the blood around your skin and it gives you brighter nicer looking skin and it helps with those eye bags too and those um, marionette lines so how do we do the big O? I just want to say I love you guys but I know that some of you do this you really like do that like that's nice but I just want to give you a little suggestion that when you do the big O try not to open like this so much like what I would like you to do if you can is to drop the jaw like if you're yawning right when you're yawning you're going and that's as big as I want you to open it right so you go right make an O and then the top of your lip you're going to press it against your teeth and then if you want you can even look up but of course if you're walking you can't really look up but that's okay so let's do it together ready we're gonna, we're gonna do one set we're gonna do it for 10 seconds you guys gonna join awesome okay here we go so of course with every time you do a pose even if you're walking posture is important remember that even if you're walking because if you're walking like this it does it's not really gonna do anything so ready let's sit up straight shoulders down okay let's drop the jaw remember press your teeth against your teeth your sorry press your lips against your teeth and now we're gonna hold this pose for 10 seconds and you can try to open your eyes if you want to as well and it's really great ready here we go Mm -hmm. Shoulders down and come out and relax and you guys can close your eyes but don't close your eyes if you're walking. You can just breathe in and breathe out through your nose and you can do this while you're walking guys like this is such a great pose that you can do anywhere while you're doing your groceries, while you're walking, while you're I don't know whatever it is you're doing. You can do that pose for another two sets of 10 seconds. Okay, the other pose I want to show you <clears throat> is another one of my favorites, which I also like to do. I can do this while I'm walking, and I have done it because not a lot of people are around me, so, and if they do, I just say hi. <laughs> it's called the Spackaroo, and I love it because it works your mouth muscles and it also works your chin and you don't need your hands so you can just go around blowing kisses I blow kisses to the trees when I'm doing this when I'm walking and so this pose this is how you do it of course you sit up straight or stand up straight and then you're going to pucker your lips and you're going to lift I don't want you to lift too much or you're extending your neck. That's not good either. You should feel a little stretch on your neck, which is nice. And then you're going to pucker your lips. And don't worry about creating the lines here because you're only holding it for a little bit. And then you do a counter pose after that. So I'm going to turn to my side so you guys can see what it looks like on my side here. Sorry, don't mind. My chair is a little noisy. So here we go. Okay, you're standing up straight or sitting up straight, wherever you are, you lift the jaw or your chin, and then you smooch. Hmm. You can pretend you're kissing Brad Pitt too. I don't know, some hot guy. Like that. So, we're going to hold this pose for another 10 seconds. You guys ready to do it with me? Yes. Okay, awesome. So sit up straight, of course center, you know, you don't want to be like this while you're doing that. So we're going to sit up straight, we're going to lift the jaw or the chin or whatever, the lower part of your face, and we're going to lift and we're going to smooch. And we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Relax the shoulders. Keep breathing and 
come out and smile. Mm, that feels good. So, what do you guys think? I hope that you guys can add three more of these poses that you can do while you're doing whatever it is you're doing. And yeah, this is a great, even when you're in the bathroom, actually, I do my poses when I'm in the bathroom sometimes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Remember to do poses that you can do anywhere, even without your hands, where you know like, yes, I'm standing straight. I don't need to be looking in the mirror when I do this pose. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoy coming in to say hi and sharing my tips. Hi, Christy. Aw, thank you. I love it too. Thank you. And I hope to see you guys soon. Love you all. Bye.